there is literally no escape from the awful air, which now extends all the way from southwestern Canada to the Mexican border. There are plenty of online resources to help you pinpoint the air quality numbers in your neighborhood. But there's a little problem. As you've probably noticed, the different websites can give very different readings. So, Darren, how do you know which site to trust? We're going to look at the two most commonly used ones, and I'm going to point out the gold standard. First of all, has anybody heard the word purple air? Got a friend that uses the website. I've been using it a lot. Vern says he uses it anytime before he takes his kid out to a swim meet. A lot of people are using it. It's a good website, but it has some drawbacks, and this is not the primary one I'm going to send you to. But since it's a big one, take a look at that full screen, and I just want you to get oriented with this because it can be a little confusing to understand why it's always seemingly reading worse. If you take a look at all the colors on here, yeah, there's lots of reds and deep reds on here. What you have to do if you're going to use purple air is come over here to the left, and there are different settings you can use. If you put it on none, you're going to get the readings that read PM 2.5, the 2.5 reading, coming from all sources. In other words, purple air oftentimes will overread and give you a worse reading than it actually is because it's counting all of the PM 2.5, not just the smoke. And the smoke is what you're most concerned on. There are a couple of other settings on here, none, AQU, and LRAPA, which is really obscure. There's a county up in Oregon called Lane County, and they worked with Purple Air to adjust their settings. Watch what happens if I choose that one. The readings will come down. It doesn't look all that bad. If you're going to use Purple Air, that's the setting you want to use right now. But really the one you want to use is the one coming from the EPA, Air Now. And it's going to look like this. And we put a link to this on our website on KPIX.com. And when you go to our homepage, it's going to be the first thing you see on there. It says how to get the best air quality reading. We're making this real easy. A map's going to come up. It'll actually look more like a national orientation. So when you get to this page, you're going to have to zoom in on all the bright colors that you can't miss. And when you get to the Bay Area, you're going to see a bunch of sensors. This is live right now. And it's showing you red, which is what I've been telling you through the whole newscast. Red, as we've learned, is unhealthy air. But with this one, when you look at the sensors, ideally you want to look for the round dots. And it's small on your screen, but you'll see it when you go. The round dots are the official of the officials. And when you click on a round dot, you actually get a little historical record going back over the last four days. And it shows you how the air quality has changed, so you can at least know where it's been. Even if this doesn't give you a forecast, it's telling you what it's doing right now. This is important because we can update you on this, and we do every time we're on the air live. But over the next 24 hours, when we're not going to be on with you, it's important that you check this before you go outside because this is some of the worst air quality in the nation and at times in the world right now. So now you know. KPIX.com, and we've got that on there for you on the homepage.